know, first you gotta give credit to Missouri Comets, and um, I think that they have established themselves as the top team in the league at the moment. And uh, any time that you go to play the top team in the league at their home field, you're gonna have find difficulties getting the result. Our expectations out of the games were not only to go and win, but was to also give opportunity to our guys to get a taste of what the playoff games would look like. And I feel that Armando did a great job of putting the game plan that uh, was benefiting our team. And uh, the whole game, from the moment we got there, from the first whistle on, felt, had that playoff type of mentality. And uh, when it comes down to these important games and when it comes down to playing big teams, every mistake that you make will be punished. You know? And uh, I felt that uh, we did a very good job in the first half in regards to eliminating our errors and forcing the Comets to, to make a couple of errors themselves. And the confidence grew every quarter as the game went on. It was a story of pretty much two halves, as you mentioned it. But to me, it was more, you know, like uh, going into the game, our first idea was to survive the first quarter. And as the first quarter went by, then we got the confidence to start opening up the field and playing a little bit more. And uh, I would say for most parts of the second and halfway through the third quarter, quarter we were an equal opponent. A couple of bounces that didn't go our way obviously affected the final score. But regardless of the per of, of the loss, you know, after the game in the locker room, you could sense the atmosphere of us creating progress and of us coming together. And I feel that uh, that momentum that and success that we found for that limited period of time against the Comets is the it was the necessary nutrient in regards to finding the success on Sunday. So I would say that uh, it was great to get the victory on Sunday. This was a very important game for us. But again, the key to creating a momentum for going into, into the game on Sunday came up from finding su success while playing against the Comets. Well, uh, we have two weeks to prepare for our next game. You know, and to me, it's two weeks to prepare for the finishing up the season. Uh, I've spoken to coach Armando, you know, and there, it, he has his agenda of what the team would like to focus on in regards to technical, tactical uh, parts of the game. But to, uh, I feel that where the biggest difference is going to be made is to motivate our players to put in the necessary work these next two weeks that will carry on for, the, uh, for finishing the season. I believe from from com before the Missouri game, uh, we worked on a lot of our changes that we were gonna make on the team, um, from a bit from defensive wise to attacking wise. We we did uh, we we did somewhat of a good job with Missouri up until that third fourth quarter, like like you said. Um, I believe we knew that that the, that the change that we made um, they they helped us completely. So we what we did is we knew we were able to to effectively um, make those changes right away um, so we knew that that we still had that motivation from from the Missouri game uh, I don't I don't believe anybody was down or or didn't have the motivation to come in and more more than anything um, playoffs were on the line um, so we knew that that we had to take care of business coming back home It gives us motivation. It gives us motivation that we know that, that that we can hang with the best and that we can play with the best. But more than anything, it, it united us more than anything because we because we knew that that as a team we played very good. Um, we just needed to fix one or two things, um, and we know that that we have the possibility of going all the way to the championship and winning everything. I think Missouri game was it was a good game. We played we played a solid first quarter, a very good second quarter. Uh, we were tied, you know, two two in a second in a, in a halftime. Uh, third quarter we played well, and all of a sudden we lost a little bit of the concentration. You know, our focus uh, was good for three quarters, but uh, it was a lot of progression from how we were playing and how we played against uh, Missouri in the previous two games. 
uh, we played much better. Even you know the players and the coach from the from Missouri was you know they were commenting about it, uh, and that gave us a confidence for you know to play against Wichita as well. We were comfortable, and some people don't like back-to-back -back games, but sometimes back-to-back -back games is good because you know you you lose a game on Saturday, you have the opportunity already to to win a game on the next day. So sometimes you get your legs going, you know, you go more prepared to the other game. You already know uh, what you did wrong on, on the previous game, so you can fix right away. And I think that's what happened. Uh, we knew that we didn't focus so much in the first game in the, in the fourth quarter, but against Wichita, we were focused the entire game. You know, uh, we played with confidence. Uh, we want to win because, you know, like uh, we, we're fighting uh, against them and walking you know for the second spot in a uh, in a season so we have to to do our job we have to do our homework and we gotta win at, at least at home we have to win the games like i said the technical ability of the team is fantastic you know these players like uh, uh, i played in a few teams and i gotta say that the talent that we have uh, if you put like uh, all the rosters together for the entire league i gotta say that these guys like they are um, they are great they're amazing they all bring always bring something to the field. Um, I think if we can stay focused the entire game and do and do the little things, I think the key word for that for the rest of the season is gonna be sweating the details. You know, if you sweat the details, if we're focused and do our job the way how we're supposed to do, this team can go far. Stu is a fantastic player. Um, he's a great player, technical, skillful, um, and it's very. He's a, a, a easy player uh, to read in the field. Uh, but Stu and I, we also played together in Milwaukee Wave for two years. We also went to All Star games, you know, for a couple of years. So uh, we've been playing together for quite a while. So we always understand each other. Uh, sometimes only even a. Uh, and uh, eye contact, you know, he, the way how he look at me, I kind of know what he wants me to do, and I post up, uh, or you know, sometimes I want him to give me a pass, the way how I like to shoot, and he does. So I mean, I think the chemistry was already built, you know, even before coming here, having him added in the in the roster, for me, it, it was great because he's the player who always look for the targets, you know. So I mean, it's, like I said, Stuart is a fantastic player. It's it's so so good to be playing with him. Mm -hmm.